We are about to embark on a quest. We're gonna go to 100 different stores and buy every single Dragon Ball item inside that we don't have in our 6,000 item collection. Say a prayer for the wallet. Let's get on the road and let's do it. First stop of the trip was a GameStop that was a jackpot. Right off the bat, we found this Gohan and Piccolo and Master Roshi figure we didn't have. We found two hats, a Majin Buu and a Majin Vegeta and this new Dragon Ball bag. What a jackpot of a start. We tried to follow that momentum up by going to another GameStop, but unfortunately all the Dragon Ball they had were just duplicates of things that we already had. That is two down, 98 to go, one score, one fail. Let's hope we have that ratio all the way through. We're all stressed for less. You're wondering why are we going here looking for Dragon Ball stuff? That's because they've been getting a ton of stuff and people have been finding it all over the country. So we're gonna try it too. Oh my God. Oh is my gosh. Is that the gosh. one you just bought? I just paid $25 for this on eBay. <laughs> and it's 12 bucks, wow. <sighs> Rip. Found another three pack. Better not be the other one. It is, it's both. Yep. I could have got you both. You got that of them. one too? Yeah, order both of these $25 a oh, piece. 25 a piece. Other than disappointment and duplicates, our raw stress for less had nothing. But if you have a Ross in your area, definitely go check them out because when they do have anime statues in stock, they sell them for about $12 to $15, the cheapest you'll find them anywhere. So go check those Rosses and save those Dragon Ball figures. How come every time I go to a bunch of stores looking for a figure or a figure set, I can't find it, I give up, I order it on eBay? Right when I do that, it's like everyone's like, cool, he did it, order it, bring it in stock instantly. <laughs> they have like 50 of them in there. We were just in here like two days ago and they had none. And now they had like 50 after I paid 25 a piece. It is what it is, on to the next door. Next, we went into a five below to check their little anime section. We did see some Dragon Ball puzzles, but we did have both of them. A couple little Dragon Ball things here and there, but everything they had, we already had in our collection, but they're always cheap and they get random anime in there. So if you have one, always check them out. Next, we went into Burlington Code Factory, which similarly to Ross has been getting in a bunch of random anime statues, a bunch of figures I've seen all over Facebook. Unfortunately, ours had very little to offer and we found literally nothing Dragon Dragon Ball in the whole store. Only 5% there. You better hold on to your Dragon Balls. We got a lot to go. A new day. We started too late the other day, but we're starting with the GameStop, and then we have kind of a cheat code for this mission. So we'll do that right after. We went into this next GameStop, and they had very little to offer other than some of the Ishiban Kuji Dragon Ball figures that we already had in our collection and a couple fig pins. Other than that, they didn't have nothing Dragon Ball in the entire store. Then we went into the Vitamin Shop next door for a completely unrelated reason and found this Dragon Ball Z G Fuel. So that's counting. What is that, dude? Sprinting? from there's some dudes sprinting across the parking lot <laughs> i was about to say now we're going to activate the cheat code for this challenge here 100 stores is a lot so how do you cheat the system you find a mall one place with a lot right of here. stores a mall and who would have thought we'd go to gamestop and vitamin shop and find dragon ball and vitamin shop and not gamestop <laughs> but anyway Let's go inside the mall and see what we can find in here. So we entered the mall and went straight into box lunch and oh my god This is one of the biggest jackpots we've hit in a very long time We immediately found a Goku figure a trunks figure Gohan figure two more trunks figures all of which we have not gotten yet So right off the bat we were stacked to the brim walk to the back of the store There's Super Saiyan 1 version of the Gohan figure. There is a clearized go tanks there is cotton candy I've never seen before. A Goku cotton candy and a Shenron cotton candy. So, of course, we got both of those. There's a Matchmaker's Frieza figure. And then they have the Goku that goes with it right in the back. We find Majin Vegeta. And then we even find the base form Vegeta. And this is all from one section. As we're walking away, we notice they have the new keychain. So, we bought every single one they had. And, of course, the entire Genyu Force Funko Pop set. That was a good one. Good the most I've ever gotten a box lunch in my life. Right here. <laughs> then we found this little bootleg anime store which had an Ultra Ego Vegeta lifting weights and this giant Goku on a Nimbus. And we literally waited here for over 20 minutes and whoever works there never came back. We didn't have either of those figures, but this dude was just gone. So unfortunately, we couldn't get him, which is really sad. Next, we went into Hot Topic, which really had nothing Dragon Ball other than some pajama pants and some of the keychains that we just bought all 16 of. While we were in the mall, we also went into a Spencer's, which usually has glasses and hats but every single one they had we had already bought last time we were here then we went into barnes and noble who literally had nothing besides this one single super saiyan goku figure and this cool sign they refused to sell me most of the stores in the mall might have been a strikeout but that box lunch that might be the jackpot of the trip and we're barely <laughs> in the top 10 percent so far we've only done less than 10 stores or maybe 10 i lost count but that was a score if I've ever seen one. Next, we went into a store called Second and Charles, which is a buy-sell trade, so you never know 
what they're gonna get. Usually their stuff is way overpriced, but we did find this one four star Dragon Ball that had a flat base and not perfectly round like all the other ones we had. So technically it's something we didn't have. So you know we had to grab it. Next door. This one's beautiful. Look how much Dragon Ball stuff they have. Wow. Man, crazy. We're gonna Boy, go broke here. This is my basement. Next door is eBay because, well, I got these in and he, he was nice enough to remove the price tags off of them so I didn't have to see that he paid $11.99. Remember at the beginning I told you I ordered these off eBay. <laughs> so at least he removed the price tags so I don't have to feel bad and see a price tag on them. But right. we got the new Flash figures right there from eBay. And then this guy, I've been seeing people post, but he was an exclusive at Comic-Con we couldn't go to. But check that out. 2023 exclusive Broly Hallmark ornament. That is sick. Next, we went into a Walmart just to see if they had some new anime stuff in, and they had a very, very small selection. A single SH figure, some DVDs of all the episodes, and then just a couple Dragon Stars, and that's literally it. Next, we went to Target to see if they had anything better in their anime section. Theirs was much better than Walmart, which isn't really saying much, but everything they had in there was just the generic stuff that everyone sells, so unfortunately, we had it all already in our collection. Next, we went to another GameStop, who actually did have a better selection in the last couple couple we went to but everything they had in there were the ones we already had including this matchmaker Goku we found for like the 10th time and we still haven't seen the oob that goes with it one time I really want to find that figure it's driving me crazy I'm getting sick and tired of finding that matchmaker Goku we found him like 15 times over the last month you know how many times I've seen oob zero I'm beginning to think he doesn't really exist I think it's just a figment of my imagination we're gonna find him eventually next we went to a local store called Eclipse Pop who gets in imports and other anime things they were loaded up with all kinds of Dragon Ball goodness from little figures to bigger figures to little mini figures to just about everything you can look for they had a lot of stuff that we already have but they did have a few of these little miniature like japanese imports that aren't sold in normal stores in the united states so definitely a few pieces we picked up from this place then we went to another second in charles who was loaded up with overpriced stuff like usual like this kid goku for 30 dollars literally 14 dollars brand new from ross but they did have some of the keychains and we were still missing piccolo and sales so we grabbed four more after feeling all the bags hoping we can get lucky so if you didn't see our keychain video we found we got 16 of these before and we got everybody except cell and piccolo and did you feel every single package i did felt every single package <laughs> these, these are the contenders four are the contenders <laughs> they could potentially be cell or piccolo i'll open two you open two sure let's see how you did i'm gonna judge your skills here uh, all right yeah first one is dun, dun, a little dun, rusty dun. i haven't been able to do it in a while no go on Ooh. That's okay. not a good sign. No, it isn't. That's not a good sign. <laughs> it is not. At all. Okay, what about this one? Come on, give me one of them. The Dragon Ball. No way. What? You better open the right two. I believed in you. I believed in you. No one's safe yet. We still got these two. Nope, Android 18. Come, can you at least get one? That's why we bought four duplicates for no reason. Come on. Please. Please. Piccolo. We got Piccolo. Well, we got out. one out of four. Hey! Now we just gotta find Cell. Since we're doing a hundred stores, we gotta give something back to you guys. So put in the comments, Dragon Ball is the best. And we'll pick one random winner to send a medium flat rate box full of just Dragon Ball merchandise that we have duplicates of down in the basement. So if you want a chance to the Dragon Ball mystery box, put in the comments, Dragon Ball is the best, Dragon Ball is the best, and we're gonna pick one random winner in the next video, and it could be you. Next door is absolutely one of my favorite places to go. It's called Oddballs Collectibles, and they have everything. It's basically like a giant indoor flea market with a lot of different vendors set up all over, and it's absolutely huge. Everything I'm showing you in the video right now is only a small portion of this place and just some of the Dragon Balls and toys but this place is massive and there's probably a couple of hundred vendors and the inventory is forever changing when we used to live next to this place we'd come here probably two or three times every week and we'd find stuff all the time so if you're ever near Glen Allen Virginia definitely check out oddballs I guarantee you'll find something odd even though they had a lot of different Dragon Ball things this time around they didn't have anything we didn't already have but I still love looking around next door is another local place called toy layer which I've loved going into before and I've gotten a lot of great stuff many times but this time some of their prices were just blowing my mind they had a bunch of dragon ball as you can see here modern stuff like shs and statues even some old vintage figures even some weird obscure stuff but they wanted 225 dollars for a used shenron sh with a damaged box which is just crazy to me 
Now I love supporting the small mom and pop companies like that, but they make it really hard when you're charging $225 for a pre-owned figure in a damaged box that I can get brand new shipped to my house for $150. <laughs> pre-owned, I just looked up on eBay, I got them for $98. Free shipping, $98 for the same exact figure. You're talking like a 200% markup. That's that's not gonna work with me, sorry. Next, we went into another GameStop who didn't have too much, but they did have a decent little variety of Dragon Ball items, all of which we already had though. But if you have one in your area, always go to GameStop. You never know what you'll find. Next, we went to another local collectible store called Paper Tiger. They're mostly comics, cards, and Funko Pops, as you can see from the footage we got, but they do have random action figures mixed in there and other things in there and they get trade in so it's always changing we did find this cool figure zero super saiyan goku in box which was definitely something we had to grab so nice super saiyan goku figure zero in box brand new and they also just told us we can have one of these for buying dragon ball this is free so might as well just add it to the giveaway pile of right you might as well go down in the comments and comment dragon ball <laughs> is the best if you want a chance to win it this is now added to it now is where this challenge starts to get difficult because we've exhausted all of the local stores we have. So we have to start traveling and finding places. First place we're heading to is one of my favorite spots to go toy hunting, Virginia Beach. And that's because they have a store called Toy Meister, which is the biggest action figure selection on the entire East Coast. And we always leave there spending way too much money. So let's get over there. First stop in Virginia Beach is a place called Trilogy Comics and this place is fun because everything is just everywhere. There's stuff all over the place and it may sound bad but I love stores where you basically are doing the treasure hunting while you're in there. Unfortunately we searched the whole store, tons of Dragon Ball but nothing we didn't already have. Next stop is the big boy, Toy Meister. It's on top of this antique mall and they have the biggest selection on the east coast and as expected this store was absolutely jammed packed with not only action figures but a ton of Dragon Ball. What I like about them is they have modern, they have vintage, they have new, they have used, they have pretty much anything you can look for. They had so much Dragon Ball, but for the first time ever, they didn't have something I didn't already have. Of course, when I'm filming this video for the first time ever. All that hype, and that's probably the first time in I'd say at least 20 to 25 visits here that they didn't have anything new that we didn't already have. That is insane. And it's barely <laughs> the longest we've been like span in between visits too. And we still found nothing new. That's so sad. We better find something cool this Virginia Beach trip and make this four hours of traffic worth it. Next stop is another store called Yester Toys, which we've found some great deals and some awesome Dragon Ball stuff in the past. I'm always excited. They do trade-ins as well, so you never know what they're gonna have. Unfortunately, this time around, all they had was a few SH figure arts and one Android 18 statue that we already had. Next, we went into the local mall and headed right into the GameStop by the door and didn't expect to find anything, but actually found the new release of the SH figure art Super Saiyan Trunks and a Vegeta fig pin we didn't have in another Goku, but no oob where is this oob at then we went into hot topic and just grabbed a couple more of those key changes see if we can finally get lucky and complete our set because it's really bothering me next we went into fye or for your entertainment where we actually found some good stuff we found this purple piccolo hat we never seen before we found the new u2's poir plush which i had never seen anywhere and then as we were getting ready to walk out of the store and check out we noticed on the wall that they had this really cool super saiyan goku and frieza blanket up there that we didn't have then we went into another box launch who again did have a ton of Dragon Ball figures, but unfortunately it was all the same ones that we'd already gotten at the beginning of this video. At least the mall delivered us some goodies here. We got some stuff, but the real question is, can we finally get sales so I can stop buying these freaking keychains? I'm really tired of buying them. But if sales not in here, I'm gonna keep buying them. And whatever new tips we get, we're going to the giveaway box. Make sure you comment, Dragon Ball is awesome. And there's the Dragon Ball again. Can I please get sell? Please be sell. Hmm. It's Bulma. It's Next store is a place called Cool Stuff, which gets in pretty much every single anime statue you can think of that releases. If you're looking for these modern anime statues, in my opinion, this is the absolute best place you can go. There's nowhere else that's more stocked than they are. They have like every Dragon Ball one you could think of, except of course for the ones we don't have. They don't have Oob. I really thought they were going to have Oob, but nothing here that we didn't already have. Next was a store called Bellas Books and Comics, which had clearance anime figures, including Dragon Ball sitting outside of the door, but we had all of them. So we went inside looked around a lot of dragon ball figures but sadly again we had every single one of them well none of our good spots in virginia beach panned out today at least the mall 
GameStop and those places had a few things we never seen before, but I'm kind of sad at the others, I'm not gonna lie. It's probably the first time in history we didn't get nothing from Toy Meister or Cool Stuff, two of our favorite Boo. spots. You see what we're sitting in now? Look at this traffic. Every single time we get by this tunnel in Virginia Beach, like everyone becomes instantly terrified to drive and always is traffic by the tunnel. Got like four new things and it's gonna take about five hours of driving. A thing an hour, that's not a good ratio. On the way home, we found another mall that had another box lunch inside of it. So of course we had to go inside and check it out and they did have a bunch of Dragon Ball figures, but just like the previous box lunch, they're all the same ones that we had already gotten earlier. Then we went into GameStop who only had the trunks we just got and another one of these Gokus and not Oob just to tease me. On the way out of the mall, we found this little bootleg stand that did have a couple anime keychains, some of which being Dragon Ball. From that little bootleg stand in the middle of the mall, we got these two totally legitimate keychains. I think it's supposed to be Turles, and then this one's of course Emperor Pilaf. His blue's looking a little bit off, but hey, I'll take them. But we also went to box lunch. And we got two more keychains. I failed last time. Let's see if you can get the right one. I picked one of them this time, so I think you should get it, you know? <laughs> True. I also picked one, which means, I don't know. This first one, Gohan. I think that this is the one that I was feeling because I felt this spike, but I also felt this. Here's yours, I think. Come on, watch me get sell. Watch me get sell in one try. Oh, oh my cute. gosh. <laughs> Next, we went to another second in Charles store and they did have some cool Dragon Ball stuff. This is actually the first time I see the Android 4-pack Funko Pop in store at all. I had already ordered it off eBay though, but nothing we didn't have, but we did grab two more keychains to see what we can finally find. Sell. Sell, you're not eluding me this time. Three bags. I swear, if I don't get to sell, I'm gonna be so mad. But we do have credit to second in Charles, so at least these ones are technically free. We don't have to pay. Vegeta. That's not good. Add a target giveaway box down there. <laughs> Might get a whole other set the time we're done. Probably. This one, come on, I'm not even gonna look. Oh my gosh. The freaking Dragon Ball. Seriously. Well, we didn't feel any of these. You no, just kinda just... picked three, so, and I picked one. Well, please, doing one. please be sell, I beg of you. Be sell, be sell, be sell, be sell. Ah! <laughs> Why can't I find Cell? <laughs> Next door, my kitchen, right? No, not really. We got Entertainment Earth. The box has arrived. This is not really a store. I guess it is. It's an online store. It's not counts as a store. Don't, don't fight me. It is. It does count. Exactly. Look what we got in here. Packing paper. Well, did they really do it like this? <laughs> they put a giant box inside the box. I guess that helps keep it protected, but... I'm trying to open it with a butter knife. I'm not helping with the paws, but <laughs> this should be our entire glow in the dark set. I'll nice. Ginyu for check it out. Raccoon, glow in the dark. Ginyu, glow in the dark. Jice, glow in the dark. Golmo, glow in the dark. And Bata, glow in the dark. Five new Funkos to add to the collection. Then we went to GameStop again. After striking out many times in a row on this challenge, we finally found some good figures. We found the Piccolo cracking his wrist, Teenage Goten, and Beast Gohan with effects. Then we went to another second in Charles who did have a lot of anime, just not a lot of it was Dragon Ball, but still a good selection. They did have the really hard to find Goku Bulma double pack Funko, but we did grab some more mystery keychains. Please sell. Three more bags, three more chances to sell. <sighs> Vegeta. Really? Oh. Goku. I like watching your face so intensely. Android 18. <laughs> Next, we went into a Marshalls right next door who had the smallest anime section of any store ever, none of which was Dragon Ball, so we got nothing. Then we went to the Ross Dress for Less next door trying to find our last Flash figures, and we found a bunch of Dragon Ball statues. Didn't think we were gonna find them. We did find a Vegeta, but then right as we were gonna leave, we noticed the Goku Black Rose Flash figure sitting in the back, one that we were still missing, and we actually scored at a Ross. How about that? Right next door, there was another discount store called Didi's Discount so we figured we'd go look for the rest of those flash figures they had a huge toy selection but literally none of it was dragon ball not one single item so we didn't get anything from here then we went to another GameStop where we found the broly jewelry but we already had so we looked at their figures and they literally had all the same ones we had just got at the last GameStop. so they did have a good selection but we just found all of them we just went into a walmart for something completely unrelated to this video and they had two more of these but they had more but i just got two can we finally get sell i'm getting really annoyed at not finding cell. Ah. Ah. 
Dang it! Uh, I'm so hopeful for this one. And so did I. I felt these like two spikes. All I could feel were these two spikes, and I thought they were like the things on top of Cell's head right there, but no, it's just Vegeta spikes. We'll find them eventually, one day. <laughs> Then we went into another Ross dress for less, hoping to find those last Flash figures, but this was after the holidays, and as you can see, their toy section was ran through. They had literally nothing Dragon Ball left. A few anime figures, but nothing Dragon Ball, sadly. You know how we can kind of go to malls and cheat the system with this series? Well, around the holidays, we may have did the same thing, but online, because everybody wants to know what they can get me, and I'm like, Dragon Ball. How do I know if you have it? Ask her. That's how we do it. So everybody <laughs> just buys me Dragon Ball stuff on Christmas. So these are different stores. I divided them up by whose eBay store they came from. Look at this vintage Goku right here from one eBay store. Sick, sick figure. I think this we're just missing Piccolo now and we have this entire set complete. Then we have these old set. These are also vintage. We have Van Presto trunks right here. Then we have Super Saiyan Goku. And then we have Super Saiyan Vegeta. That's from one guy's store. Then we got a lot of vintage beauty here. We got this little three pack of Final Form Frieza, Super Saiyan Goku, and Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Are they like keychains? I think they look like keychains, yep. So, and there's a Dragon Ball Z one with the Dragon Balls. Then who had these as a kid? The Goku and Frieza walkie talkies, man. The box is a little damaged, but they're vintage, and this kind of plastic warps and breaks bad. So, to even find it in the box, that's really hard to do. And we have the cool. Goku and Piccolo one right over there. We didn't have the Goku freezer one, but now we got nope. them both. <laughs> and then check out this vintage beauty. Raditz, Master Roshi, Turtle, and Nappa. You know what's funny about this one? This was on my watch list on eBay. And then I just went to check it one day and it was gone. I was like, oh, somebody got it. <laughs> Little did I know, somebody got it. That was me. For me. <laughs> so hey, that works. Then we go over here. This box came from another guy's eBay store. I literally saw this up for auction one day for like stupidly cheap. This is an old school Goku and Piccolo finger puppet. I think it's Goku. It might even be Gohan with that hair. I can't tell. But whatever it is. Do you have a sword? Does he? Oh, he does have a sword. So it's probably it's Gohan. Gohan. Yeah. So I think I got this for like two bucks or something stupid like that plus shipping. I just put a bid on it. Didn't really expect to win it. Nobody else bid. So I was like, okay, that's cool. This from Etsy. Etsy. Check out that custom made logo, Jeebus Ball Z. That is about <laughs> to look so freaking sick. Then we're gonna get to some stuff we got sent in from other people. Like this paper theater Dragon Ball set right here. This is straight from Japan. Still has the yen price tag on it right there. That's really cool. Then we got these little tiny Dragon Balls right here. And they have, ugh, get out, get out. I think this came Forgot from the what same, they had in there. They have little figures, I think. Okay. Yeah. Like look. See a uh, little itty bitty orange piccolo in there? Yep. And there's seven of them for seven Dragon Balls. I don't even know who's all in there yet, but we'll figure that out when we open this stuff. Yep. Then we got another paper theater, Namek Saga, or not Namek, Saiyan Saga, Goku, Vegeta. Then this was so cool to get in the box. I had this as a kid, I played with it and I lost it, like pretty much everything else I had. You know how many thousand dollar figures I played with and destroyed as a kid? It kind of hurts me to think about now. <laughs> but that plug and play in box, that is so nostalgic right there. I freaking love it. So a couple months ago, or last month, we had our baby shower and we only themed it after Dragon Ball, obviously, because <laughs> we're smart people. And this is a plate and napkin, so of course I had to keep one of these because I didn't have them and they're going in the collection too. And then we got sent some more stuff from Timu that we actually didn't order yet. Like this Super Saiyan Vegeta figure right here. Then we have uh, Super Saiyan Broly. His arm fell off, but it looks like it has a peg, so it'll go back on. And then we have a bootlegged little miniature Super Saiyan Broly mini Funko Pop, which is cool because I don't think there's an actual Broly one. So that's why bootleggers get sales because they make stuff the real people won't make. Then also from one of those sites, we have this bag of different keychains, Tien, Krillin, I see Gohan. Looks like there's about five or six other ones. Goku in there as well. Then this is kind of cool too. Dragon Ball Z guitar picks. Really random. Random. Really cool. We're nowhere near done with this yet, but this pool table right now has everything that we've gotten for this challenge so far. You see how far we're into this, and you see how much we've already accumulated 
we got a lot more to go, so let's get back to it. I just heard through the grapevine on social media that Reese's Puffs has done a collab with Dragon Ball Z, and apparently there's a Reese's Puffs cereal box now sold only at Walmart with Goku on it. So obviously, <laughs> we gotta go search Walmart and find this box. Hopefully we can do it in one, but I don't care if I go to 10, we're gonna find that box, let's go. So we ran to the closest Walmart, went directly to the cereal aisle, and just started looking for Goku. We quickly found the Reese's Puffs section, but it was just the normal Reese's Puffs. There was no Dragon Ball one, sadly, so that only means one thing, we're going to another Walmart. So we drove about 10 minutes down the road to the next closest Walmart and did the exact same thing, ran to the cereal aisle. This one's a much bigger Walmart, but again, it was just regular Reese's Puffs. There was no Goku in sight. You know, if you would've told me when I was a kid that at 18 days before my 30th birthday, I'd be making YouTube videos for a living, driving around Walmart, trying to find a cereal box with my favorite animated character on it, I would have been so proud of me. <laughs> so proud. Let's go to the third Walmart. So we went ahead and drove another 10 minutes to a third Walmart to walk right in, run directly to the cereal section, and once again, only see regular Reese's Puffs. I'm beginning to think this Goku box does not exist. You know, a normal person right now would probably call it quits and go home and say, I'm gonna try to find it online. But you know what? Normal people seldom make history. I don't believe in normal. We're gonna keep checking Walmart until we literally run out of time or we find what we're looking for and we're gonna freaking find it. Let's go to the next Walmart. This time we had to drive 20 minutes and keep in mind we're already 20 minutes away from home to find yet another Walmart and we did the same thing again, went right to the cereal aisle and there's still no Goku. I swear we're gonna find this box eventually. Hey, I may not have found my cereal here, but I found Dragon Ball for your Dragon Balls. Perfect, go on the wall. <laughs> So we went searching Walmart last night all the way until they closed and found nothing. Now there's social media sightings at Target at a store. I think you pronounce it like Weiss. Maybe I'm just Dragon Ball biased. I don't know, but I think they're going to be spying in all kinds of grocery stores. So I think we checked Target. Then we checked the other grocery stores in the area too. Food Line, Kroger, Publix, that kind of stuff. And let's see if we can find them because I want every single box. First, we went to the grocery store Food Line and they didn't have any Dragon Ball Z Reese's Puffs. So then we went right next door to another grocery store called Publix. Publix and they didn't have no Dragon Ball Reese's Puffs either. On that same street, there was one more grocery store, Kroger, so we ran to their cereal section and they didn't have any Dragon Ball cereal either. I think I might cry. Next, it was time to hit up Target, but first check their anime section. And Goldo, behind. And Raccoon. And Raccoon. What the heck? You're not supposed to be behind that? Jace. 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 They just had Ginyu put the whole force up there. Then we went to the cereal and sadly Target didn't have it either. Then we drove another 20 minutes to get to a much, much bigger Target and first went to their anime section and surprisingly they had the biggest selection of Dragon Ball stuff we'd ever seen. But of course it's the normal stuff that we have all of already. Then we went to their cereal section just to see a bunch of regular Reese's Puffs and no Goku ones again. Across from that Target was another grocery store called Wegmans, so of course we went in there to check this cereal section again, and no Goku. I'm really starting to believe this cereal does not really exist. I really am. This is when I realized we had to start playing serious, so we went to a super Target and first went to their anime section. They had a bunch of cool stuff, but we had it all, so we marched over to the cereal section. I just knew in my head we were going to find it this time, and we were just disappointed again when they didn't have any of our Dragon Ball Reese's Puffs. At this point, we have exhausted all of the the local area so we had to drive 40 minutes to an entire new city just to keep searching we went immediately to their walmart immediately to their cereal section and we're once again immediately disappointed when they didn't have it now it was time to take a different approach since what we were looking for was food we decided to try the walmart neighborhood market which sells just food i thought it was being smart but we walked around and they didn't have our cereal either but we did find this why does this look like a 90s like tv guide thing doesn't it? Yeah. But I mean, that is Dragon Ball. That is Goku, so <laughs> we don't have it. So technically, we have to get it by our rules. <laughs> At this point, it was about 10.45. All Walmarts closed in 15 minutes. We had one last attempt. So we went to the very last Walmart in the area, went to that cereal section, and guess what happened? They didn't have it either, so we went home sad. After driving around for over five hours, going to all those stores, it's now like 11 p.m., and all we have to show it's like a 1990s TV guide anime magazine they maybe paid $9 for. <laughs> and I never found any of the cereal. 
That's really sad, but now we got an hour drive just about home, so it is what it is. It's part of the hunt. On the way home, we had one last ditch effort, a 24 hour Walgreens pharmacy. Went to check their cereal section and they virtually had nothing, so none of that. But we then went to their toy section and they actually surprisingly did have some Dragon Ball stuff, but unfortunately we had all of it, so we went home with just a 1990s TV guidebook. The next morning, we were ready to start fresh, so we went to box lunch to see if they got anything new and they got this brand new little Shenron cup that I'd never seen before, so hey, brand new item for the collection but our main purpose of the mall was to go to hot topic and see if they had the brand new goku black rose funko pop that just released and they did they had them in stock so we grabbed them and we took them home then we went to second and charles for the keychain hunt so we went into second and charles again here and i found this beautiful not beautiful at all very bad bootleg super saiyan gohan dude's literally got a purple neck like it's so bad but it was three dollars and it was hilarious looking so i had to and we bought the last four Dragon Ball keychains they have in the store. We've used up all our credit now, except for five bucks trying to get this complete set. I swear, if I don't get to sell here, I'm gonna cry. First one, uh, Android 16. I'm beginning to wonder if Cell really exists. I know, he's like, here? he's not even a rare one. I know, it's just a normal one. Let's see what's in here. Goku, oh my gosh, Trunks. One left, can you please be Cell, please? Let's see, come on. Come on, come on, who is it? It's Piccolo, I saw green and I got excited. <laughs> Couple more online stores to add to our list. Number one, Amazon for the newest Dragon Stars release. Super Saiyan Gotenks with the Kamikaze Ghosts, brand new, just came out. You know we gotta keep our Dragon Stars collection complete because we're not missing any right now. And from eBay, I had to order this. So funny story, I was looking for bootleg Dragon Ball figures that looked awful for to make a thumbnail. Then I saw these and I was like, my gosh, they're horrible looking. They're actually offensive, I'm not gonna lie. They're that bad. And then I realized that the picture was actually somebody's listing in California. And I was like, hmm, $12, will you take that offer? He took it. $12 and I got all these keychains and they hang on a little thing there. They look awful, but they're so cool at the same time. Let's go to our boxes because honestly, I set these here a while ago and I really don't even remember what I bought. That's how bad it gets, you know? You gotta imagine we bought this much Dragon Ball stuff. Sometimes I just forget. I'm very irresponsible. Let's see what's in here. Is this what I think it is? I didn't think he existed, but he does exist. Look. Oob! Oob! Oh. <laughs> I had to go online because this dude does not exist in our area for some reason. There's like two million of the Goku, but I can't find the Oob anywhere. And there he is. Now he's part of the collection. Now it's from another person's whatnot show. And this box here came from another person's whatnot show. You know, sometimes I get on whatnot and I just start buying stuff. <laughs> you, you know how it goes, you know how it goes. Let's move some paper out the way here. All these came from the same guy's store. So, uh, what the heck is this? He just attached this and said, hope you don't have this. I didn't even buy this. What? I didn't even order this. I don't even know what this is right now. Okay, let's see. Uh, what are they, glued in there? What the heck, look at that. Well, we don't have that. We definitely don't have that. That How is so nice. Cool, How guys, nice. you know what? If you're on WhatNot, go check out Anime World. That dude's got the best stuff. I'm always on his stream looking for stuff. He gets all the stuff in way before we see it in the US. So cool. I love that guy's stream. Check it out, let's see. Speaking of stuff before it comes to the US, look at that. Raccoon blasting out of his mouth. This is not even gonna be here for I don't even know how much longer, but hey, some dude's got the connections and I'm always willing to pay for them. That is sick right there. Love it. Is that all those in here? Yes, but the thing is from this guy and some other people, I may or may not have more post office right now. I just haven't been back yet. A little bit of mixed motions right now. We got two boxes that came in from two online stores, but we went to 10. 11. 11 different stores when we are an hour north grocery stores looking for the Dragon Ball cereal and didn't find it. I was like, I'll film it when we find it. We're definitely gonna find it this time. <laughs> it doesn't exist. It doesn't Never exist. Happened. Okay, first online store though. Check this out. Not even released here in the US yet, but hey, whatnot. I'll be finding those products that aren't even out yet. Blood of Saiyans Broly. That's cool. I love this one, this looks so cool. I don't even think it releases in the US for like another month or so, so you ain't gonna see it in store anytime soon, unless you're getting it online. Then in here, I got Whoa. five. I don't even remember ordering five. We were trying to figure this out in the car, I remember getting three. First we have, this one's also not out in the US, Majin Vegeta Clear Eyes. That's a sick figure right there. Then we got the Vegito Matchmaker, 
So this one comes with a Super Boo, actually, that the guy didn't have at the time, but he did have last night, and I just ordered it, so that should be here in a couple days, too. Then we got, yep, Gohan, adult Gohan in his base form, walking forward, and then we have Beast Gohan. Walking again. Form. Yep, walking forward, yep. just like that. And then there is a new matchmaker with this Goku. It doesn't show on the box, but there's also a Scouter Vegeta where they're, you know, that famous scene where they're about to blast each other where Vegeta's in the air, Goku's on the ground. So there's two of those that just came out. They had Goku. I haven't seen Vegeta in anyone's pile yet, but when I do, I'm gonna get him as well. Next, we went into a GameStop who did have a pretty good selection of Dragon Ball figures. They had more than most other GameStops we had been into, but unfortunately, every single one they had, we already had. Then we went to another Five Below to see if they finally had the Flash figures we were missing, but they literally didn't have any of them in stock. There was a raw stress for less right down the streets. So we went in there to look for those Flash figures again, and again, this store had literally none of them. I don't know where they all went. Next, we went to a Target to go check their anime section, which again, like the GameStop, was actually pretty loaded. Just we had every single thing they had, unfortunately. Then we proceeded to go to nine different grocery stores looking for our cereal. Look a little like this. We go to the aisle, we dig in the Reese's Puffs, and we just didn't find them, and we would leave sad and crying. Literally nowhere has them. We've been working on this video since the middle of December, and today, the day I'm recording this, it is Friday, January 12th. It took nearly one month to do this. You guys know usually we're travelers. We'll travel everywhere and just buy Dragon Ball stuff. That's what we do. But for those of you that don't follow our main channel, Treasure Hunting with Jeebus, you might have wondered why we didn't choose to do that this time. And that's well because in five days, we're going to be at the hospital with our first baby coming. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously we couldn't travel much. Now, what are you looking at me for? Well, you now, have the sweatshirt. The one the one <laughs> no, you have the sweatshirt on. Yeah, we were cool enough to name our son Broly because that's what we're cool. <laughs> but this is everything we have. Next step, we're going to count all of this up and give you the grand total of how many items we found in 100 stores in the grand total of the collections at. Because this is a super cool week for us and we love you guys, we're going to add this. So SH figure Ooh. Piccolo to the giveaway box. So make sure you comment what I said to comment earlier because I don't remember <laughs> what that was because it was about a month ago. So make sure you comment that. 100 stores in total. We found 158 new Dragon Ball items to add to the collection, bringing our grand total to 6. 1059. We officially broke the 6,000 mark. Remember, guys, growing up is giving up. And until next time, peace out.